This works in seconds, you guys. Try this. Today, I'm going to share with you a powerful, and you could even say trippy, Neville Goddard story that can help you to manifest instantly. When you hear it, you might be like, are you for real? Yep. Okay, here's what happened. There was this one woman, Neville's friend, who was driving her car east on Sunset Boulevard in the center lane. She stopped at a red light at a three-way intersection, and a bus was to her right. Then she saw this little elderly lady dressed all in gray. Remember these details, okay? Running across the street in front of her car, trying to catch the bus as it was pulling out. And the bus driver actually saw the lady and slowed down. So Neville's friend thought that the driver was going to let her get on the bus. But instead, the bus just pulled away and left the little old lady on the street. That bus driver was whack. Anyway, Neville's friend felt compassion for the lady, but she wasn't in a lane where she could give her a ride. So when the light changed, she started moving and said to herself, I'll give that lady a lift. And here's what she did. Ready? And this can sound nonsense to some of you. But again, pay attention to the details. You'll see why. She imagined opening the car door and a lady dressed in gray steps in relieved, thanking her a lot. She was out of breath from running and said, I only have a few blocks to go. I'm meeting friends. And I was so afraid they'd leave without me when I missed my bus. That's it. This only took Neville's friend, what, 30 seconds, half a minute, to carry on this imaginary conversation until she felt satisfied about it. Then she kept on driving and forgot about it. Check this out. Four blocks further, as she stopped at a red light, all of a sudden, someone tapped on the car window. And guess who she saw? A little elderly lady, get this, with gray hair and who's dressed all in gray. Huh. Neville's friend lowered the window, and the lady was out of breath from running. She asked for a ride, saying that her friends were waiting for her, and that if they don't see her get off the bus, they might leave her. Sound familiar? The lady got into the car, and then six blocks further, she saw her friend still waiting. She thanked Neville's friend, got out, and walked away. Coincidence? I don't think so. Think about it. It happened exactly the way she imagined it. Exactly. To its very detail. For instance, both women were elderly. Both were dressed in gray. Both were out of breath from hurrying to catch a bus and missing it. Both wanted to meet friends who, for some reason, couldn't wait for them very long. And both left her car within the space of a few blocks. It's wild. Look, you tell yourself, it takes time. It only took Neville's friend 30 seconds to enact her imaginal scene. And another 30 seconds to realize it. Freaking fast, you know what I'm saying? Remember. The world is yourself pushed out, you guys. The world is yourself pushed out. Know what you want, either for yourself or for another. Then imagine it and feel the reality of it. For how long? Shoo, Neville says, you don't even need more than 30 seconds to bring about a change of state. Just do it till you feel satisfied about it, just like the lady did. And then you drop it and watch it happen in your world. Let it happen. The world will respond now. Because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to help support this channel and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and, of course, I've spread this message. And if you're new to LOA or manifesting, then go register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start creating the life you really want right now. So check it out. Links in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.